Hi, this is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors. And you all know how I love to sing. Well, today I am gonna be singing and cooking with the singing baker, <laughs> Allison Mahoney. Allison, thank you so much for being here today. And Allison has been on the Food Network and Steve Harvey. And we are gonna be making a holiday toffee that is so easy. So Allison, when I think of toffee, it sounds kind of intimidating, is it? Well, not this recipe. I mean, I think that candy is super intimidating. Anything with a thermometer scares me. But me that's too. why I love this recipe. No thermometer. No thermometer. Okay. And it only has a few basic ingredients. It's a half a cup of unsalted butter, mm -hmm. one cup of sugar, right. two teaspoons of vanilla, okay. uh, a cup and a half of chocolate chips, they can be semi-sweet or dark chocolate, or if you're a real chocolate, you can use a whole bag. Why not? It's Why the holidays. Not? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> and then I like to use toasted almonds and dried cranberries. So you want to take just a regular saucepan. Okay. And you're going to combine your butter, sugar, and vanilla. And here's the thing. I'm a no must, no fuss kitchen girl. Me I too. like everything to be in like one bowl, one pot. I don't like to make a big mess and it just makes it all feel so much easier. It does. So you just combine this and then you move it over to the stove. You want the butter and sugar to melt into one. Right. And the sugar will start to dissolve and then it's gonna get nutty and delicious and it, the butter will start to turn brown. Okay. That's when you have toffee. All right. So you just have to keep your eyes on it, but it takes about 10 minutes. So you gotta like, you know, be prepared to sort of stand over your stove for a little, for 10 minutes, which is really not a lot. Well, we, we can sing while we're standing over our stove. You know, I like we? your style. Yeah. yeah. I'm thinking Nat King Cole, oh. holidays. Oh, maybe something like, just nuts, nuts roasting on an open fire. fire. Wow, she's really good. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir. And folks dressed up like Eskimos. Merry Christmas to you. So now it's all incorporated. Right. And I'm gonna quickly move over to our lime baking sheet. Okay. And you just wanna pour it over. Like so. Mm. And you know, it doesn't look like much right now, but the great thing is that you're gonna just spread it all over. You want it to be sort of a thin layer. So just keep moving it around until you know you feel like it's spread out enough. And it'll separate a little as it starts to cool, which is totally fine. This is the awesome part, right? You don't have to mess with melting your chocolate. You just put it over this super hot toffee and it will melt. And it will melt. This is the type of thing that makes me go like, ah! and ah! oh my gosh, she's so good. We should we should go on the road. I think so too. <laughs> and then when do you put the, the once uh, you sea salt spread on. the chocolate around and make sure that it's totally melted. See, and it just looks beautiful. It looks. This is a little sea salt here that I'm putting on. So, Allison, I just took this out of the freezer, and it's been there for about 15 minutes. Yep. It's nice and hardened. Mm -hmm. And what do I do here? You just break it into pieces. I mean, it's just darling, right? Who doesn't want to get this as a gift? I know. You can walk in and be like, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Voila! I love it. Thank you. Thank for you for having fabulous me. Fabulous recipe. This is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors, helping you find your spice and ignite your sizzle.